Have you ever got a headache, been stressed or confused when booking a trip? Because there are just too many different mobility apps and options? Did you ever get annoyed about having to sign up to every single transportation app? This is because current urban mobility is fragmented and suffers from a lack of shared cooperation. Hello everyone and welcome to the Automotive Blockchain Channel. Hey, I want to thank all of the people who have subscribed to the channel. Definitely appreciate it. I have approached and getting ready to leap over 600. I do appreciate it. Uh, much love dub goes out from my heart to yours. Let's get this Automotive Blockchain Channel bus rolling. All right, folks, so when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution, do you not think that the automotive industry is going to play a big role in it? If you don't think that, you are highly mistaken. I'm here to tell you. All right, so we have here in this particular video, we are going to be discussing Daimler and what they are doing to um, reach outside of the automotive spectrum and look into the full mobility. Because remember, when it comes down to the um, the automobiles in and of themselves it's about being connected in as many ways as possible and in this particular case we have two Daimler execs set up a blockchain mobility firm licensed Daimler technology all right and what are they doing here and uh, you know I kind of look at this say basically these two people quit and they're keeping it all in the family like it they like the gig I'm not hating on you I think it's a good thing all right so yesterday, and this is about the end of May here, Daimler announced it has licensed its mobility blockchain platform to do what? To a brand new startup called Blocks Move. The company was founded by the CEO, Sophia Rodinger, Daimler's former digital transformation leader, and Dr. Harry Barnes, uh, the head of Daimler Mobility Blockchain Factory until last month. So, you know, you got this partnership here. I like the fact that they're keeping it in. I like it from a technology perspective because that means that the integration will be more seamless, in my opinion. Uh, so let's get over it because some of you may be asking, wait a minute, who's Blocks Move? I never heard of that blockchain, uh, you know, that kind of uh, blockchain platform, that company. So I went over to their website and I wanted to show you something. And that's where this clip has come from. Uh, and let's scroll down on this a little bit. All right. So blocks.move. We carry your passengers further. And as you can see here in the little uh, the screens they're going through, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> By the way, I thought that was a funny movie back in the day. All right. So you can see here that uh, what if mobility was less complex? Now, y'all have been experiencing this. This is the Automotive Blockchain Channel bus. Could you imagine if you tried to get to this channel, getting on the Automotive Blockchain Channel bus, and you had to take a plane, a train, a scooter, a taxi just to get to the bus? That's a lot of tickets you got to buy, y'all. That's a whole lot of tickets. No. Well, that's where Blocks Move comes into place. All right. So you can see here, imagine one click, one ticket, hassle free. Um, and I want to go ahead and play this uh, video that they have down here just to kind of get a little uh, additional clip on that. Go ahead and expand this out. Listen to this a little bit. All right. You, you heard the little clip in the beginning. Let's get a little continuation of that. We'll allow you to have a seamless journey with one click and one ticket hassle free. Your favorite mobility provider will be able to offer you the entire trip in one app using a decentralized technology. So there you have it, you know, and that pretty much sums that up. Basically, you wouldn't have to purchase a whole lot of tickets, um, you know, for, for traveling about. And think about this from the perspective of if you are on vacation, you've gone to a new city and you've downloaded this app. This is how I see it playing out. I'm not saying this is technically how um, the company is going to be deploying this, but this is how I personally would use it. Uh, where I could see myself using this technology. I'm going to a new city. I need to get around because it's on vacation. I'm not renting a car and driving all around seeing the sights. Sometimes I may get on a train. Sometimes I may get on a trolley or rent a little scooter or something like that or ride bikes around. <laughs> Reminds me of European vacation. Um, but anyway, uh, so when I look at that, that's one of the things I think about this. So they go on here. There, It's a platform as a service. Our mobility blockchain platform is a decentralized business to business infrastructure it connects all mobility service providers micro mobility public transport rental fleets corporate mobility managers and necessary capabilities such as e-payment and id verification i want to stop one thing right there remember it's about bringing on the fourth industrial revolution and connecting all things of your entire life so if you have one app where you can just do it all then why not you're already using a smartphone anyway that's tracking everything so in this particular case you have id verification so that's not only going to be an id for your vehicle it'll be an id for you that's right your digital identity you will be cloned into the digital world 
Um, now, that being said, let's go back to the article. The startup has a grand ambition to make mobility frictionless. Most journeys involve multiple forms of transport, such as a bus or train, just as I was saying. Rather than buying a single a ticket from each of those mobility providers, the idea of this particular app is to do one single purchase, kind of like a single sign-on, um, and they would be able to accomplish that. Um, so that is one of the awesome things about this, uh, this particular app. I do like it. Um, the startup platform handles many of the contracting types. So we're looking at this from a smart contract uh, perspective. The startup's platform handles many of the contracting steps from identity and know your customer to consent and payments. I like that a lot because it just kind of, it makes it seamless. And think about this from this perspective. Let's, so let's say for instance, going back to that carnival or that back to that vacation mode. When you're going on vacation, you may want to visit, let's say for instance, the, uh, the museum. You may want to go to the aquarium. You may want to end up taking a train to different parts of the city. Imagine if you could just pay once and then just go straight on through. That's pretty sweet. So hey, let me know what you think of this technology and um, uh, how you think you would use it. Well, what cities do you think this would be best used in? Uh, I could see it being used in a number of them. And let me know what places you may have even gone on vacation where you could say, if I had something like that, man, I would totally be down with it. I would be, you know, the old lady wouldn't have been yelling at me. I wouldn't have been fussing. I wouldn't have missed stuff. Um, so you get my point there with that. All right, folks. So let's go ahead. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you next time.